Hi everyone, welcome to WP Brim. Today in this video training, I'm going to show you how you can easily create subdomain in cPanel. Well friends, for those of who don't know what subdomain is, okay, here you can see my domain is wpbrim.com and I have created another domain based on wpbrim.com that is on.wpbrim.com and I have another domain that is 2.wpbrim.com. Today we will know how to create subdomain. Okay friends, I'm going to access cPanel. Okay, I'm just going to enter a domain name that is brimhosting.com and to access cPanel, I'm just going to enter forward slash and type cPanel. And here it is. I'm just going to hit enter. And here you can see cPanel login interface. I'm just going to enter my username and password. Finally, hit login. Okay friends, here is the cPanel interface. And this is the latest interface. And it using the Jupyter theme. Okay, the first section is email. I need to access the domain section. So I'm just going to scroll down, scroll down and here it is, the domain section. Okay, that's cool. And to create a subdomain, I need to access this section, domains. So click on this link, domains. And it will bring you here. Okay, friends. Here you can see create a new domain button. Just click on it. Okay, here you can see our domain is brimhosting.com and based on this domain name, we will have to create a subdomain. So, first of all, need the name of your subdomain. I'm just going to type O-N-E on, then add dot and then add the main domain brim hosting.com okay so here goes the subdomain on and then add dot then add the main domain okay and here you can see root document okay don't tick this checkbox and here you can see home and under the home directory it will create on.brimhosting.com folder okay that's all and finally hit submit button just click submit okay here it is you can see our domain is created okay and if you click over here you can see the domain name here it is okay one.brimhosting.com and get back to cpanel here you can see the document root directory okay if i click over here it will bring me to the cpanel file manager It will bring you here. You can see it has created a folder called one.brimhosting.com in the home directory. Okay. Now you can easily install WordPress CMS or you can install any kind of PSP based website in cPanel. Okay. Just get back to tools. Okay. Scroll down. To get domains here you can see domains and you will see the list of the domains okay now if you go to the browser type http clone slash slash on dot bream hosting dot com hit enter here it is so in this short video training we could successfully create a subdomain that's all thank you for watching hope to see you again in a new video don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button goodbye